G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. Today we've got a real treat for you. We're unboxing the new Uni Karu 12G. We're gonna give it a cook as well and see how it goes. So follow along and check it out. All right, folks, we're ready to open this bad boy up. First of all, box is lovely and smooth, really nice touch. But that's not really that important. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I love when a box is designed like that, it just opens really crisply. Welcome to the Uni community. What's inside? Looks like we have instructions. Our pizza stone. And that's that's the back plate that goes over the fuel source. We'll look at that in a sec. Alright. Here we have the lid. Goes over the top of the fuel source. Feels nice and sturdy without being overly heavy. Alright. Pizza stone. Nice and solid, just as stone should be. All right, let's get some of this cardboard out. And here she is, the main unit. Let's get her out and have a look inside. All right, let's see what's inside the actual unit. Bit of packing. Another bit of packing. Good to see they're not skimping on that. Jeez, that must be like sardines or like in a tin. All right, and the main box of goodies finally out. All right, first item is in the box. What do we got here? That's the front door. You'll notice, lovely glass panel. That's gonna make checking on your pizza super simple without letting all that heat escape. Lovely. All right, let's check what was inside the unit. Backing plate, nice touch. Allen key and some screws, always the essentials. Door hinge to stop your hinge from going too far back. Cap for your chimney. Fuel pan. The other half of the fuel pan. Last but not least, the chimney, including adjustable vent. Taking a look inside, looks a little bit like the entrance of the Death Star to be honest. Cheeky temperature gauge on the side. Good to see the instructions have pictures for barbecue numpties like myself. Makes it a lot easier. All right, time for a cheeky bit of assembly. We can see this one already comes in. So we're just gonna slide this on like this. Pretty simple. All right, we're gonna come over this side. I'm going to put this in here like this. 
in. And then we're going to grab a screw and screw it in. Screw it in. It's a little bit doing, a little bit like doing maintenance on a turtle line on their back. Next, we're going to put our door stopper on. Simply chuck it on there and chuck these bad boys in. Just like that. Next, we're just going to open these legs up. Really nicely designed, very simple. And then we're going to flip it over. Next, we're going to chuck our fuel basket in, open the lid up, and just slide it through. And the inside should look a little bit like this. Next, we're going to put our pizza stone in. Like a glove. All right, next we're going to add our chimney in. So if we have a look inside, you can see these little grooves that we're going to use as a twist and lock mechanism to put this chimney in, just like so. And if you can see here, it's no longer on unlock, it's on lock. Put our lid on, and then our backing plate sits just over these screw mounts. All right, now that she's all assembled, we're gonna take this off. You can hang this on here if you like. That's a nice little hook for it. We're just gonna put a few logs in. It's a bit like a game of Tetris, so choose your logs wisely. All right, we're gonna chuck some fire lighters in. Light those up. Now that those are lit, we're just going to add some small pieces over the top. Really help it get going. Once those are in, shut it up. Here we have a base sitting on the peel that we've just prepared earlier. Ready to splash some ingredients on top. All right, we're gonna start by adding our homemade pizza sauce. Keeping in mind, less is more. Next, we're gonna add in some fresh mozzarella. Next, some basil. A little bit of olive oil on the basil leaves. All right, she's ready to go. We just need this pizza oven to hit temp. All right, we're gonna open her up and check what temperature it is on the stone. Not quite there, so we're gonna add a little bit more fuel and let it sit for a few more minutes. All right, she should be up to temp. Took approximately half an hour. Let's chuck it in and see how it goes. All right, let's take it out and have a look. Looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit overcooked on the outside.
All right, let's give her a slice. All right, folks, well, we've just finished our first pizza here. Um, as you can see, crust is looking pretty good. Not a bad effort for the first time. I think this, uh, this uni really does the job. But how does it taste? Mm. Look, that's just as good as any Neapolitan style pizza I've had recently. I'm more of a deep pan kind of guy, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. And if you're hosting people, I'd highly recommend. All right, folks, well, this wraps up our first cook. We've had a crack at making a couple other pizzas as well. I honestly think this is a game changer. I'm really looking forward to trying some things on this. So uh, stay tuned for some more content. Until next time, catches.